Hi class, we're doing more linear algebra. All right, today we're going to discuss how to find the matrix representation of a linear transformation. Because this is a theory-heavy class, we're going to do the theory first before we're going to do the practical side. All right, let's go. Earlier in this lesson, in these lessons, we've asked, is every linear transformation represented by a matrix? The answer is yes in certain cases. So yes, when the linear transformation goes from V to W and say this is Euclidean vector space and W is also Euclidean vector space. Theorem 30. Given a linear transformation L from Rn to Rm there exists an M by N matrix A such that L applied to X, the linear transformation applied to some vector X is equal to A times X in terms of vector multiplication for all X in our first vector space R to the N. We can be even more specific than this. The column of a are well defined. The jth column of A is L applied to EJ, where of course AJ is the jth column of A and EJ is equal to 0, 1, 0, where the 1 is in the jth row. Okay, let's prove it. Proof. So say E is the standard basis, E1 through EN. And then we know that for any X, the coordinate vector with respect to the standard basis is just, it's essentially the same vector. We're gonna take our A, our matrix A, and as usual, this is going to be A11 through A1n. It has n columns and m rows. And here is A1, here is An, and where Aj, as we said above, is defined to be L applied to Ej. Now, let's see what happens. L applied to X is, of course, L applied to this vector. This is L applied to X1 times the first standard basis, standard vector, E1, X1 times EN. This is a linear transformation. Therefore, we can pull out the scalars and distribute across the plus sign. So this is going to be X1, L, E1, plus x n l e n and we know by definition what this is l e 1 is the first column of a l e n is the nth column of a looking at this in terms of matrix multiplication this is a times the vector x 1 through x n which is a times x QED, end of proof. So ends the theory. The theory tells us exactly what A should look like. Let's recap. How to find the matrix representing a linear transformation Recap, say x is this vector, 
where xi's are some real numbers. The coefficients are real numbers. A is an m by n uh, matrix representing linear transformation Rn to Rm. A x is x1 a times e1 plus dot 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 xn a times en. This is, of course, x1 times a1 xn an by definition. Okay? Note that the vectors change as in ej in the expression as we move from x to ax the vectors change ej gets replaced by aj which is e times ej but the coefficients stay the same the coefficients are the xi before and the coefficients are xi afterwards all right what does this tell us? It tells us that in order to find A, which is made up of the AJs, all we need to do is find how A, or the linear transformation, affects the standard basis. Let's do an example. Example. Let's talk about rotation counterclockwise by Theta. Let's do a little sketch here. This, of course, will not be to scale, but let's just focus on the things that are important. Here is E1, and here is E2, these vectors, and they're both of length 1. Say we're going to rotate counterclockwise by theta. Well, we're just going to rotate by theta. This right angle stays the same. So that's where E2 goes. So this is going to be A times E1, and this is going to be A times E2, where this angle is also theta. Let's figure out where it actually goes. All right, just using some quick trigonometry, we know that this is going to be sine theta, and this length is going to be cosine theta. This length is going to be cosine theta. And this length is going to be sine theta. What does this mean? It means that E1, the vector, gets sent to cosine theta, sine theta. And that means that this is A1. E2, the vector, gets sent to negative sine theta, cosine theta. That means that this is going to be the vector A2. Together, they make up the columns of the matrix that represents this linear transformation. So A is going to be cosine theta, sine theta, negative sine theta, cosine theta. This is the matrix that represents the linear transformation that is rotation counterclockwise by the angle theta. We can also use this to read matrices. Say I told you that uh, there's a linear transformation represented by this matrix. What does it do? Well, the first column is A1, and the second column is A2. A1, A2. That means the linear transformation sends E1 to this column, 0, negative 1, and it sends E2 to this column, negative 1, negative, negative 1, 0. Okay, writing that down. So 1, 0 gets sent to 0, negative 1, and 0, 1 gets sent to negative 1, 0. A sketch will help us here. 
all right? One zero gets sent to zero, negative one. This is A of E1 or L E1. Zero one gets sent to negative one, zero. This looks an awful lot like reflection through this line. This linear transformation is reflection across the line y is equal to negative x. Here's an exercise for you. Exercise. Say A is the matrix 0, 1, 1, 0. Sketch what A does to E1 and what A does to E2. And then deduce what linear transformation is represented by left multiplication by the matrix A. Describe it for me. All right. Think on all these things. See you next time.